Hi, Nana here. Uh, we have done the GOB on uh, very many levels, uh, and I learned from Lokesh regarding the category level GOB. Uh, and then I am planning to test for five such scenarios. And then for the first scenario, I tested, and then I did a success actually. So I'll be sharing the first scenario. The later ones, what I'm going to be uh, making a video later on. As and when I do it, now, I, I must get the time and mood. So I'll now make it and then I'll now uh, share it with you. So we'll now see the first scenario on the category level assignments. So in the real life scenario, what happens, you'll be having some 20 or 25,000 items for which what happens, you have to make a back to back make buy and transfer. So it's impossible to make <coughs> entry on the ATP, manage ATP rules as well as an assignment sets uh, making an entry. For a back to back make, back to back buy, and then back to back transfers, we have seen uh, two levels of assignments. One is item org, and then one is item. So in which case, what happens if you are having, uh, let's say, 15,000 items in the manage assignment sets, you have to make 30,000 entries. It's virtually impossible. <clears throat> so that is the best, <clears throat> but what happens is virtually impossible, and so what happens, you cannot do it now. So, uh, in fact, I, when I was discussing with Lokesh, he told that what happens, I can very well go for a category level assignment, so then it worked perfectly. So I tested it. I never tested it, and then today I tested it, and it's working. I have, I have, uh, I'm not going to do it for five scenarios. So on the first scenario, I tested it, it's working. <clears throat> I'll tell you what I, I, mean, I made now. I made an item, right, zero, one, two, one, uh, and then I made a category also. So while making a category, what happens, I got, a, I got struck in one issue. Now. I made the same category, fine, just for understanding purpose, I didn't. But really, what happens, it will be computers or hardware or software or paint, like that, what happens, there will be different, different consumables and things we have a category. But for just for demonstration purposes, what happens, I made the item name itself as a category name. Now. <clears throat> but here, I was struck in one area. I'm going to show you the area where I'm struck. So if you go to the manage functional area catalogs, if you go there, go to the manage functional area catalogs, and then I initially, what happens, I created a functional area called order entry now. I will now show you the category, if I make a setting now. And then here, what happens, I open the order entry and then I created <coughs> five categories now for my testing. For testing it, what happens, I made five categories, buy, drop, ship, buy, receive, <coughs> and then a complex one, and then make, receive, and then transfer, receive. But what happens, when I made a collection, these categories were not coming at all in my collection area. I go there, not coming. And then one more thing is what? If a category is made, you cannot even what happens repeat it in the other places. Now, basically, I cannot what happens create the same category name in another functional area. A01 by drop ship. Okay, fine. If you go and then try to create it in another functional area, it will not allow you. Now, you will cancel one. A01 by drop ship. <clears throat> I will not go to the inventory item and I will not try to create a category. So, I will not uh, expand it. And then, in this place, I will go there. A01 by drop ship. A01 underscore by underscore drop drop underscore ship to a tab now <clears throat> so you go there and then you know paste it over here now right? i think it will not allow it it allows it's great now right? click on okay now <clears throat> oh, no. it's allowing good 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 so i was under the impression i made it clear on a01 by drop over there's a small mistake in the ship now right i will not try to make uh probably if you don't make a mistake, not what happens, not becoming properly. Click on it. I'm going to put A01 underscore by underscore drop underscore ship. So take a bit. I'm going to put the description now. Now it's, it's not going anywhere. See? Uh, yeah, an object category code with the name by is already existing and a unique name. An object category code with the name by drop ship already exists. Uh, so uh, it may not allow you anything probably <clears throat> because I may, here I made a mistake with the smallest uh, is a case sensitive one. So it was not getting collected actually. Then afterwards, what happens? I went and then I have gone there. I will now query the functional area called planning. The product planning catalog, what happens? I made the entry now. I made the entry like this. Uh, we expand it. What happens? I cannot see this. <clears throat> Categories starting on A01. If you go on and query now. It will show you this many categories. So 21, 22, 22, 24 is exactly the item name itself I have put over the category. <coughs> item name. And then in the item itself, what happens? I have assigned these categories also. I have assigned the categories in the item. I'm not sure if you can So uh, product planning is a <coughs> area where you have to give the categories. <coughs> not on uh, order entry. I was having a initial assumption on order entry. We are doing it. It is not order entry. We are doing it on the product planning area. So I have, what happens, assign the respective categories to the respective item. So when you are mass loading it, what happens, we have to put the appropriate category in the appropriate items. That is very, very important. Click on it now. Go there. And then I will now go to the browse items and then query this item. One item only I am going to go to. The first item I am going to go to. 
in which what happens, I have succeeded now. So it's a E01, E1 is a 1, E3. So you must exercise caution on this one. If there are multiple things coming on the same thing, because what happens, everything is now, I have to go to the master or not. I have not to the master. Because for each and every category, it's now having a product again, non category. All these things are coming up as multiple entries now. I let them know that no one of the things. Is it's a buy, receive, and ship. Right. I'm going to buy it, I'm going to receive it and ship it. This is an item. Go down. And then if you go to the what's called the category categories, what happens in the what's called in the planning catalog, I have put the category in the category. A0121 by receive and ship. The same item name itself doesn't Whatever I have entered, the order category is A01 is not coming. Fact, this is only coming. So A01 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, the five items. I made as a category, same category for demonstration purposes. In reality, it will be having a real meaningful category. <clears throat> and when you are doing the item import, mass import of items, let us say 15,000, 20,000 items, we have to put the appropriate planning category, planning catalog on the item. We have to go on and search where exactly the planning catalog is, make an R&D on this, and then what happens, make a test experiment on it, and then somebody please post me where exactly this field is there on the item import, and then that has to be imported. Now, I have got 20,000 items of this category. They have to be, oh, what happens, we have to buy, receive and ship. This item is only for buy and receiving and then ship. So I will not have any entry on this item in the GOP area at all. The GOP area at all will not be having anything. I will not tell you what I have done in the GOP area. I'm working on it. So in the manage ATP rules, well, let me go and then query my A01. A01 is already queried, I think. You can search. And then I made one complex one. The complex one I made it and click on it. <clears throat> And here again, what happens if you go to the criteria, I'm not very clear about it. I had to learn it. Fine. I'm now putting this as 100 and this is 100, whether both of them are required or not. I'm yet to learn this part. And then I'm putting all the tick marks over here and then all the supply and demand is needed. So criteria needs to be learned actually. Fine. Everybody, somebody learning it, what happens there, please explain us on this one. So I'm now putting all this thing. You know. And then I go to the ATP rule assignments. If you go to the ATP rule assignments, what happens? I've added all the categories. So on the planning category, if I put on the item also, and then afterwards, what happens? It also says assigned to item category. Maybe only I'll assign it, it will come around. I'm not sure about it. But after putting it on the planning category, <coughs> what happens when I collected it, it came. So here, item organization is the best one. Right? That is the best one. But that is not possible. Like what happens? Uh, marrying the marrying Nainthara is the best solution. But uh, what happens? It's not possible, not feasible. So and so what happens? You have to go to the lower one. So if you have assignments at multiple levels, the topmost one will be taken for what happens uh, your uh, ATP rules. Right? Your demand supply balancing will be done only for the topmost one. If you have an item organization level assignment as well as an uh, organization and an item and a category, let us say all the four level assignments are there, then it will not take only the item or. If this is missing, it will go there. It'll, this is missing, it will go there. No, it'll, it'll go there. For a particular item, what happens, it has to be in one of the ranges. So in the category, it is available. <laughs> I have not given a category. So in one of our implementations, what they have done is uh, uh, they have made 15 categories <clears throat> for items and then all the 15 categories have been entered in the, uh, what happens, they were managed ATP rules. So this is the ATP rule. Go there. Next is what? Sourcing rule. Go there and have a look at the sourcing rule. I will have a look at the sourcing rule, manage sourcing rules. <clears throat> so this is the browse item, the sourcing rule. I will go there. A01 and then entry now. And then here, what happens, you know, buy and receive. Go there. Some buy and receive. And then click on edit. <coughs> if you see what happens, I use a global buy. Buy is always global buy. And then go there. Buy from ABC Consulting. ABC Consulting. And then you have a supply site. And then the OPS. And then allocation on the person. So it's a buy and receive. It's a global receive. So if you go on and have a look at my Excel sheet now. Item is this. And then the category is this. Is a buy one. And then the design is on. And then the bottom, what happens? I have now made a sourcing rule type as a global buy. And then the assignment sets, what happens? I have got two assignments for this. In the assignment sets, what happens? No, go and then put me A01 now. A01. And then select it now. And then click on edit. This is the one, this is assignment set pointed to my uh, MSP default assignment set. <coughs> my MSP default assignment set is pointed to the assignment set. And then here, if you go there and see what happens, you'll be having what? A category and org level. Fine. This is called category and organization level. So at the category and organization level, what happens? I have now put the category as what? My buy and ship. And the item name itself is a category name. Category receiver. So buy receiver and ship. Right? Item name is a category name. And then the host type is that. And then I have given a global receiver. Buy and receive. Yes. So buy and receive. Yes. So if you go there and see the final. So in the category level organizations is a buy and receive. Right? Buy and receive is my uh, is my sourcing rule. And then another is a transfer to customer. Right? So I have made one more thing on the transfer to customer. If you see the transfer to customer. Here I made it. And then I click on edit now. This is having going to be having all the orgs, remember. 
in the different ranks what happens is transfer so transfer to customer so transfer is always whenever you choosing transfer is always to customer end and then put all your orgs if you have 50 orgs make a 50 entry in different ranks only one global ship basically only one global ship make transfer to customer you're going to make one thing and then here if you see we have one global level shipping remember atp will not check whether you are shipping to the customer or not ultimately fine somewhere it has to be shipped so either at the item so we have seen item org and item level for all other things for what happens for the manufacturing what happens is the item org and the item org level we are manufacturing it at the item level i'm shipping it so in this case also item is not required because we have a global there if you have a global there item level shipping is not required because the global level it will automatically take care of shipping the customers so if the full cycle of a gop is not fulfilled what happens it will be erroring out in the sales orgs somewhere it has been the assignment set writing is a very very complex situation so now what happens we are going to test what category and org and then global category and org level what happens we have a buy and receive buy buy and receive uh, as a, a buy and take and then the global remember at nowhere my item is appearing at all my item is a0121 it is not appearing anywhere in this place at all and then i the items which are belong to this category will all be governed by this rule so you go there and see it okay so this is the one the one this is the remaining four scenarios i will test it and i will not test it and i will make another video as well okay so in the first one i succeeded and then what happens i am not sharing with you so this is the one so global work the remaining i went to test it <coughs> so uh, the by one and then uh, what happens we are using these two uh, sourcing rules to fulfill it so i think i have covered everything if you have any doubts please write to me on the whatsapp chat what's a whatsapp chat and then i will now answer you so let us now go there and then we'll now create a sales order for so i'll create one so now go and create a sales order for so i will this uh, one i will go and create a sales order so let us now go and then create a sales order so go to the order management and then you go to the order management <laughs> so this is the best solution and there are multiple solutions available there that is another thing i'm not on that and that one i'm going to make it as well us one business unit and that is a computer preferably you would test everything on your structure then only what happens you'll understand where exactly you are making a mistake now why working on mission i am lazy uh, i don't have a, what happens my instance is down wherever i created is not down now so i am now working on a mission uh, uh, mission area mission is not a very good one. i will not use the default do because what am i they have customized the do also fine let us do there i will not put that a0121 go there i will not put three one this so go there so it will automatically show you as in stock or out of stock that means what the gop is set now it is not perfectly set it will not check each and everything fine at this gop is set and then what is saying open go to three one is on and then click on add to this and then i will not give a request date stack ahead of this now <clears throat> when i want it to be one plus sometimes the lead time will come into picture now actually go there click on it. I will say, uh, <coughs> I will say twenty second I need. So twenty second is the date. Which one? I am needing it. And then let me save and then submit the sales order. <coughs> I am saving it. And then I am going to submit the sales order. So once we submit it, what happens? We must start to progress on the do now. One one five three five four is the sales order number. Now. So go there. Click on OK now. <coughs> and then progress it on this one. Click on refresh. We're going hard now. So go to the actions and then go to the source to put them on you. We're going to have a look at it. So initially, what happens? It will be showing you as what uh, reserve and then uh, other things. Don't find the reservation will automatically go because it's a back to back as is. Don't find. Remember, but item is a back to back as. That is very important. I have forgotten to tell you. All the five items are going to be back to back as is actually. So with this, what happens? So no saying. So uh, scheduling reserve and ship will automatically go once the scheduling is completed. It will not go for a supply request. Right? So supply request after shipping will be coming. The score process will be involved in this. Score will be involved. So once when the scheduling is completed, again also what the uh, the reservation is gone, reservation ship has gone. Now it has gone to the request supply request shipping line of action. So you can also say supply request is also complete. The pass also is also getting completed. Fine, it's not getting stopped at all. The pass pass is also not getting completed. It's not completed. And then afterwards, what happens? We're going to avoiding shipping. Okay. <clears throat> And uh, I didn't made a BPA. so if you don't make a bpa what happens it will be interface to what your uh, uh, requisition area but what happens the item was missing a list price in mission mission was using finished goods as a template and then item was missing and then when the item was missing a list price what happens i got such error on the sco area sco was giving error like this not fine so attribute price is required and the attribute charge account is blah 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 right? so it was having a xx mark on the sco now since uh, we have i have now made a bpa no? fine, i i not need a, so list price or a bpa is a must for interfacing to purchase Otherwise, what about the purchasing interfacing will fail actually? 
So we'll not click on refresh now, we'll not have all the data. So refresh it and then here, what I'm going to do there. It is now everything shipping and then go to the fulfillment area. <coughs> So go there, go to the supply, and then what happens? You have got a SCO order over here. The status is it to be getting applied when we're working on. So if you refresh it, what happens? The status also will be getting applied as well. Awaiting supply. Awaiting supply is the status not having working on it. The SCO order is not having over. So if you click on the SCO, you can now see this. <clears throat> now, what happens? It is in the requisition area, and then it will not take some time. Right? So the SCO has got for three purposes. One is for the buy, make, and transfer. And then here, it is not a what happens? A make or a transfer, not fine. It's a make or transfer recommendation. So it's a buy recommendation. So it has been set So after some time, what happens? You'll now get if you refresh it, what happens in requisition, the requisition will be created now. So requisition credit has come now fine. Requisition credit has come. So requisition number has come. And then the PO also will be created because what happens? We have the uh, what's called uh, your uh, BPA set actually. I have now made the BPA also for this now fine. So because of which what happens, it'll now say the purchase order also will be created, and then you'll be ready for receiving it. Requisition is now created now. <clears throat> So wait for some time now, and then we go to the orchestration plan. It will not show you what happened. The purchase requisition data, this much of a thing has come. So if you go to the execution documents, it will not show you the documents and numbers which are not created now. So wait for some time, and then what happens? It will now automatically get the PO number also. Now, if I refresh it, what happens? It has to show as PO created, but it is not showing as a PO created, but PO is already created. So the requisition number is there, the PO number is there in the execution document, and then there's a reserve it against the sales order. And nobody can touch it as soon as they receive it now. You cannot issue it any other place. Fine, no other there. If you go to the orchestration plan, what happens? It can also show you on the SCO area that what happens is also reserved. Now, put away is only pending. So, you'll not go to the execution documents and not take up no fine with that. So, the purchase order number is 163739. So, 163739. <laughs> we'll go there and then receive it. <coughs> so, we are going to perform the receipt of this now. You go to the supply chain management, and then you go to the inventory management. And then go there. Click on it. And then we'll go, we'll go and then make a receipt now. <coughs> Receive expected shipment 163739. So go there. 163739. Then click on search. <coughs> and then select it and then click on receive now. And then if you click on the show receipt count, it will not show you how much is expected from the supplier actually. And then here it is a receiving. And then if you enable what the tick mark on uh, override receipt routing, you can even get the inventory also, you know. So click on the show receipt count. So then no done. And then afterwards, what happens? You have a gate receipt now. So we already seen all these aspects in the purchasing. So while uh, putting it, uh, the vehicle number, the carrier number, the bill, way bill number, everything, you can add number of uh, packing slips, all these things, you can make packing slips and the number of packings, everything can be added over here. You know, and then in this place, you have a value addition to this in the shipment, packing slip, et cetera, et cetera. If you add it, if you take a report, it will be giving you a lot of information. And click on subject now. So by which, whatever the gate, GRN number gets created. Now. And then the GRN has to be put away. So if now 51373 is the number, the GRN number, 51373, we go there. And then we will not do a put away of this. Now. Click on it. We are going to buy with the bill. Click on it now. <clears throat> so we will now go and then make a put away on this. Put away results. We are going to make a put away. Right. 513. So here, sub inventory is mandatory. You know, choose it, choose sub inventory for three corners, uh, stores, and then click on submit now. So now the put away action is now complete. So this will be getting reflected on the score. And then if you give up, refresh now. And then here in the bottom, what happens in the orchestration plan, you can now see that. Put away is no complete. So once when that company is you know, wait for some time now. Now the put away is now complete and now fine. This is now saying awaiting result. No fine. Requisition created in between, it might have come as PO created. I'm not sure about it. Now what happens? The result is also received actually. Fine. That that statement is yet to come now. Fine. Click on that push. That is it's not coming. Awaiting result form is coming. It is a, it is a, a slightly behind us. Now we'll now go to the what's called your uh, purchase or fine. Click on done and then come to the main sales or area. Click on done and then come to the main sales or area. And then if you refresh it, it will now say goods available for this one. Goods are available. Now we will now do the picking and then shipping of this product. Now, right? it is, uh, this is the number now. Taking copy of it now. And then we will now query on the area on that purchase. Now we are going to do the shipping and then putting it. Click on the receipts now completed. We go there and then click on it and now go to the shipments now. Go to the shipments and then here you go to the manage shipment lines and then query for the shipment. 
and again what happens is you give what is uh, what as a before and some other day now click on it so you're putting some other day and click on okay now you click on search it will be ready for a pick release now <clears throat> so the pick release process is now going to pick release as well as the pick confirmation together now right while not having a serial control had it been a serial control what happens you have to put the collect select serial number says yes in the organization parameter otherwise what happens the interface to errors so that you already seen now in our previous videos then go to the actions and then go to launch pick release now you're going to begin the pick release and then the pick confirmation will be done together now so once and that is done what happens the concurrent has got successfully launched it will be staged you know go to the staged area so give a save and close now more of it and i can now see that your shipment number also will be created and then for which what happens the, the consignment will be going to stage now it is ready for a ship confirmation and then once when you perform a ship confirmation what happens it will be running a what's called is now it to come up and the ship number is come and release this find over so click on it and then requery on this now click on requery and then you will be getting <coughs> what it will be coming to the stage it is ready to release it will be coming to the stage area as well as what happens it will be having a ship uh, order you will be having a shipment number creating grid not auto grid auto grid shipment is that my stage that so we have enabled on the uh, shipping parameters that create a shipment also right click on it and then it has no perform ship confirmation click on the shipment number and then perform a ship confirmation directly it will now start to move towards the customer's location if i click on ship confirmation we are going to move towards the customer's location so it is now saying weight and volume are not there fine doesn't matter fine click on stop it by which is now completed so 510196 will be now going towards the customer it is now shipped and then what happens you will be having a concurrent which will be running now in this place and go there so click on it and then that it's okay you know go there it is now completed and now go to the concurrent area send shipment advice will be running now so that will be responsible for interfacing it to what happens your uh, uh, order management actually <clears throat> monitor process where is this here oh, not even here is it not the process so if you go there and what happens the send shipment advice will be running so it is running so upon completion of this the shipment will be communicating back to the feeder system now fine the feeder system will be notified uh, there is order management was a thing which has now requested the shipment now fine once it is completed the sales order will be progressing to ship and then finally to awaiting billing So the send shipment advice has got completed now. We are afraid it will be getting succeeded also. And then afterwards, what happens? We go there and then have a look at the sales order. The sales order. So it is now having awaiting shipping. So it does not refresh it. It will be going to ship and then afterwards, what happens? It will be going to awaiting billing it. It is not shipped. So in the next stage, what happens? It will be going to awaiting billing now. So it will be put it pushing the data into the AR's interface tables now. If AR is fully set, now it has gone to awaiting billing now. I will now go there and then do the auto invoice import. <coughs> and then i will now perform an import now it is import auto invoice import auto invoice the one so we're going to run this concurrent now so go there import auto invoice one click on okay now we are running it <clears throat> so we'll now pass on uh, the business unit is also mind because there are multiple business units are there no voice is us one business unit no yes one and then make a search it has to come now uh, it's not coming I don't know when the transaction sources do know. Uh, oh, both of them are mandatory, but at the moment, so fine. This you, and then I will now give the order number over there. Now, go to the place, and the from sales order number, I will now paste it over here. Now, from the tab, that is the sales order number. You now see whether it runs or not. And the do the one fine click on submit. Now, fine. You now saying, oh, this unit is mandatory. Right? Yes, one. Somebody has fiddled around, and so what happens? The air is not coming at all here. <laughs> People, I always say that don't fiddle around on the visions one. they make changes and then all of it is not visible actually right for that so here is not working so that's okay right so we have completed what happens yeah item uh, on a uh, on a buy receive and ship without item being mentioned on your uh, gop area at all only with the category we have succeeded so i have to take a, take up uh, four more uh, cases no fine basic as i mean i made it what happens i'll make a video and send you so it will work fine so thanks lokesh for educating me on this no fine i have not never tested it actually i, I, I understood it when he told me but this is the first time testing it fine so good fine bye for now and then we'll meet another video